Hey guys, welcome back to the Island of Misfit Toy Collectors. Dreadnought Ryan here. And look, we've seen probably uh, a number of different Hiss reviews. There have been some great reviews done by folks in the community. Big shout out to them for going into detail. All of the great features on it. All of the cool details that of course come with the Hiss tank. Uh, showing you all the figures, their articulation, all of that stuff. So I really, I kind of wanted to do something different. I think... For me, it always goes back to uh, play and the magic of play. And then, of course, um, just how amazing that the G.I. Joe line has been. We're talking, you know, it's almost 60 years that we've had G.I. Joe. 40 years for many of us who started in 1982. Um, and I just kind of want to talk about the evolution of the His Tank from what we got in 1983 to what we have in 2023. Um, it has been an amazing ride. And again, Mars Industry, big shout out, 40 years of evolution. Thanks for those memories. So let's go ahead and get started. For many of us, our first introduction to the Hiss was the G.I. Joe commercial for the Hiss and the Wolverine. It's using the standard G.I. Joe uh, animation to start out the commercial and then very cool uh, play scene with kids getting to play with these amazing toys, having fun either in the backyard or pretty much on a sound stage from what it looked like. Um, but it was a great setup for this particular commercial. The Hiss tank comes out on top. You're able to see that you can keep put multiple Cobra figures on the vehicle. It also comes with his driver. Uh, the Wolverine was defeated and Cobra won the day. These type of commercials were great to get kids to want to buy these particular items. And considering that the fact that when the His came out in 1983, it was under $7 um, would help generate sales for this particular item. And again, this was one of the first vehicles for Cobra as in 1992, everything was GI Joe besides the uh, missile command center, which was cardboard for Cobra. Uh, so this was like our first introduction to the troop builders for all of Cobra vehicles and the Cobra soldiers. Again, the Hiss had some great box art. It shows Cobra Commander and, of course, the Cobra Trooper. And then on the back side of it, it would give you the breakdown of the Hiss. Notice there is a slight difference of what the final version looked like compared to what we see on the back of the box. The Hiss uh, treads are shifted farther back than what we did get. Uh, of course, the file card did a great job of showing you how awesome that the Hiss tank driver is. He's a badass who can drive everything. He lives his life in the quarter miles, as they would say. One other cool feature, though, is the blueprints that we did get with a lot of the Real American Hero vehicle lines. It was always fun as a kid to be able to have those in your hand, look at all the different features of your vehicles, understanding, and then letting your imagination run wild. I mean, 90 millimeter cannons. Um, this Hiss was not built for, oh, I, I don't want to say like, it, it, it was built more for speed and having the ability to move around the battlefield and use those 90 millimeter cannons to take out G.I. Joe. It wasn't built for safety. Let's just put it that way. Um, you had the glass canopy and all of that compared to the Mobat, which of course had the standard tank look. But the Hiss was just iconic. And because of that, it had a number of different versions that came out. Now, I don't have the Crimson Hiss, which came out, of course, technically after the Hiss tank, which was a Sears exclusive. But you can see from Hiss 1 to Hiss 2, 3, and so on and so forth, the Arctic Hiss, until we moved into the modern variations, where we uh, received the first Hiss tank, really with the rubber treads uh, in the pursuit of Cobra line, which did come with a black, a kind of burgundy, and then, of course, the Crimson Edition. Those tanks were awesome. They had cool little play features on the back for removing the Gatling gun cannons, uh, and then they had a little trapdoor canopy in the back. Um, but it was just really cool to see those. Plus, you could click the button, and the His tank would actually elevate um, to give it that kind of even cooler play feature compared to what we'd seen in the past. And then, of course, as we got to the end, really, of the modern line, uh, which was all in Toys R Us, we did get the uh, Cobra uh, version with the railgun, which did come with a uh, Sky Striker and a two-pack that was a Toys R Us exclusive. And then, of course, the line did go dark for a number of years, um, but we did have it recently come back, and that brought back O-Ring, which was also a Transformer crossover, which we received Mega. 
and the Baroness who would turn into, uh, would transform into the his tank. And then that leads us into the 40th anniversary, really, of the his tank. G.I. Joe HasLab, we heard rumors in May, and then, of course, in June, it popped up. The initial funding goal was 8,000 units. It was $300. There was early bird specials for it um, in a number of different unlocks. One of the unlocks was to get the um, armored skirt pieces and then, of course, the glass canopy so that you could turn your HasLab his tank into a vintage look. You also had the chance to do the early bird special. Uh, which would get you the His Tactician, which was designed from one of Ron Rudat's um, sketches. Of course, Ron is the godfather of G.I. Joe for most of these characters. Um, and then, of course, the Tactician would sit in the back where you have the jump seat. Uh, and then, of course, all of the weapon storage, too. Big shout out to the Foosh uh, webpage, which I did uh, use to get some of these pictures. Um, but as you can see, also some of the other features that we've got, the canopy, uh, pops off so that you can see the engine, I should say, or the shroud pops off. Uh, one of the other unlocks with the ha um, with the His Tank gunner, uh, besides getting the mini guns for the cannon, was the Chin Cannon, uh, which does just pop onto the front, and it can rotate around up and down, um, which just has some nice articulation. It does have the blast ports for um, blast effects, too. The Hiss did come fully loaded. I mean, we quickly unlocked all of the Hiss stretch goals. Again, the first was the early bird, the tactician, which allowed the backers of the Hiss tank to choose which version we wanted. It came with, of course, the gunner uh, and then the missile pods that were attached to the side of the Hiss. Again, um, the gunner with the chin guns and the mini guns. And then the final unlock was the hooded Cobra Commander with the Mickey Mouse ears uh, in the retro style card. So for $300, <clears throat> it is a 112 scale vehicle. Um, it is 14 plus, so it is for adult collectors. It also does have light up features. Uh, so again, in the uh, tactician area in the back, that does light up with the red light when the ramp does drop down. It also has a button on the front which can cycle through a number of different light features. Um, so then you can have the Cobra sigil shoot out from the bottom of the His Tank. The um, headlights will light up. It has a bright headlights. And then, of course, the cockpit uh, lights up as well, too. So a number of cool features come on this particular item uh, for the $300. And then let's look at some of the figures um, that we did receive in this. Also, as a supplemental add-on to the Hiss, uh, there is the uh, Hiss 788 Fire Team, uh, which are dropping for a lot of us today. Um, but again, the Tactician, the Driver, and the Gunner all do come with pistols, rifles, and an extra set of fists. Uh, the Hiss Gunner does also come with a shovel uh, and a sledgehammer axe type of uh, item that do that you can load into the back of the his tank with the tactician. Uh, so these figures are loaded with cool accessories and cool features and designs. They also have little uh, pads on their um, wrist that will have different type of readouts, so it looks like they can, you know, use Bluetooth or any other of those type of wireless. Items items to uh, interact with the his tank itself. I think overall design of these figures is pretty damn awesome. And I do have to say, I love the red and black feature on the tactician. Um, it matches up quite well and looks great next to the fire team. Overall, what do I think about the hiss? Um, I'll put it to you this way. It's been a long time since I was excited to get a toy. Um, and since it is so close to Christmas and getting this item uh, dropped off from FedEx, opening up the outside box, and then of course it was packed great. Um, so you'd have to take it out of the original box, take it out of a second box. Uh, and then of course the figures uh, and the tank itself was uh, meticulously taken care of and placed inside the final um, packaging. And of course, that packaging just looks absolutely awesome. Um, so the figures were kept in another box that kept uh, everything pristine. So the carded 
uh, hooded Cobra Commander came out looking great. Uh, and then, of course, the box art for all the figures were amazing as well, too. The Ron Rudat figure does have his autograph on it. So from that point on, I was just blown away. Um, I have to say that I really took my time in reviewing all the different features and then, of course, taking the hiss out, putting all the different pieces and parts on it. Um, I got to do that with... Uh, you know, my son watching me and then him coming out and looking at the item itself and just being blown away at how cool it was. Um, that's how I know that it was well worth the $300 that we spent for it. And then, of course, like I said, I did get my fire team today. So I've got a dio set up for them. Um, his has got a place of honor uh, in my toy room. Um, and I just can't wait till the weather actually gets warm again and I can go outside and really have fun with the hiss. For everybody that did get this, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about the figures. Um, what style did you go with? Did you go with the Gallwing doors or did you go with the old style canopy uh, and armored siding? Uh, do you include the rockets or do you go without the rockets? Just I want to know what you guys think of it. Um, I think it's absolutely amazing that in 2023, we got this amazing item. And to think it's 40 years from when we first got the His Tank to when we got the Classified. Just shows you how far this line has come. Just shows you how people still absolutely love the G.I. Joe brand. Um, and I do have to give the designers for the His Tank and the team that worked on it kudos uh, for providing an amazing item. I just absolutely adore this particular toy. It's it's awesome. The things that you can do with it, the photography, just the play features itself. Love how the treads roll. The Cobra symbol on the front on the light up when you have all the lights turned off is just absolutely the chef's kiss. Just absolutely perfect. All right. Let me know what you guys think about about it um <clears throat> i can't wait to see what the dragonfly looks like um and then of course we've got the vamp coming too i think again 2024 is going to be a great year for gi joe it's going to be a great year for um the collectors of gi joe hopefully with all of the layoffs that we've seen coming through it's not going to affect the gi joe team um as much um i don't want to see any of those great people go we've already lost Corey. um so hopefully like i said um, we'll know more as we move along. But again, I think for Joe fans, 2024 should shake out to be a pretty darn good year. So I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. I hope you've got most of your shopping, if not all of your shopping done. Uh, if you are a procrastinator like some of us, uh, I hope you get it done soon. Um, but more importantly, I hope you guys have a great holiday. Um, and remember, if you're struggling during the holiday if you are feeling lonely or if you are just going through some stuff reach out um and for folks if you know some of your friends or family who could be struggling let's make sure that we all take the time to reach out to them tell them that we love them tell them that we care for them um and that they're not alone um I think that's important at this time of year that we really look out for all the people in the community um and just remember that uh you know, showing people some kindness and some love is what this season truly is all about. So I hope wherever you guys are at on the Island of Misfit Toy Collectors, you are having a most amazing evening, night, day, brunch, whatever it is. I want to send out big thanks and support and love to all of you uh, who have are part of the island. Um, again, I wish you all the best in this holiday season. I hope your 2024 um, is better than 2023. And for folks, any of you out there that are struggling with stuff, um, just let you know that there are people out there who do care about you. And uh, more importantly, yo, Joe. Talk to you guys all soon. Thanks.